London Tacoma says she was brutally attacked outside her Buddhist temple. Police arrested the attacker, but he was released the next day. King Pep's Lionel Donovan is in Tacoma tonight. And I know you spoke with the prosecuting attorney's office. What did they tell you? Good evening. I sure did. And they let me know that they're still waiting on a completed investigation, which includes medical records that show a degree of injury before they make a final decision on charges. Meanwhile, the temple is staying open and attendees say they're not going anywhere. Do you feel safe? No, no, she don't feel that this is a place that, that is safe. Nguyen Hun is still recovering from the brutal beating she received last week. And he's also holding a hammer and then he pushes her down, punch her right on the, and then threaten her with the hammer. And three of them was beating on her. This video was sent to us by one of the monks of the Khmer Theravadan Buddhist temple. The video shows Hun, who serves as a nun at the temple, getting attacked around midnight on September 21st. Hun says the beating came because she was trying to stop her attackers from cutting open the chain link fence surrounding the temple with a bolt cutter. The abbot of the temple says the attack has destroyed the peace that the temple is supposed to provide for those that come to worship. He also says this isn't the first time the temple's peace has been disturbed. And they come almost every night to cut the change on the fence. About 1 or 2 a.m. they come to cut the fence. The attack may be centered on a tenant dispute. Huen says she's worried because she lives with one of the suspects. Huen lives at the temple, which also rents out extra rooms. There are claims that one of the alleged attackers often brings disruptive guests inside, which leads to trouble. Now the temple says they want them out. They live here without any kind of lease, without anything. They break in to live here. Meanwhile, Hoon says she'll continue to come to the temple because she says this is where she belongs. Even after what happened to you, why do you still uh, come to the temple? She would like to stay here to help the temple, making sure that the temple have peace and learning that would continue to have peace and learning about the Buddhist religion. Now, the Tacoma Police Department let me know that as soon as the detective that was assigned to this case learned that the suspect was released from jail and could potentially return to the temple, he immediately notified the temple and Hun and also let them know what resources were available to them and what they could do, which includes applying for an order of protection. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.